Jay Bollicky from a small border town tucked up right on the very northeast of India. The town here is called More, but now I will cross a little used border into the country of Myanmar. A small border town there called Tamil. This border between India and Myanmar was closed for 50 years. But just a few months ago, they opened it to tourists. And so I'm one of the first people to walk across the border from India into Myanmar. Exciting. Let's go and check out what Myanmar's got to offer. The border is just 200 meters ahead. Morning, guys. Yeah, you going to Myanmar? Okay. Yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. Where are you come from? England. <laughs> yeah, a long way away. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very far. Everyone's going to Myanmar today. There's a lot of cross-border trade because things are cheaper in Myanmar. And so people from India go across there and buy things or Myanmar people bring things across into India to sell. It's a lot of illegal trade as well. A lot of narcotics apparently coming across and teak has been chopped down illegally from the teak forests. This whole town of More is full of teak shops, teak furniture, which is then exported further into the nation of India. So all right then, I can see soldiers already staring at me. I'm not even at the border. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning. Are you going to Burma? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. Okay, see you there. We'll have a party. Hello, Baisa. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, the journey hasn't gotten off to the best start. The gate over there is gate number two. I need gate number one, which is the one for foreigners, apparently. They didn't really know what they were talking about down there, so let's see if this is it. Hello. I go to gate number one. Gate number one, yeah. Yeah. Far? Okay. How much? Uh, only 100 rupees. 100 rupees to gate number one? It's like two minutes. Uh, no, 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 no. Pachas. Pachas, uh, okay, okay. Tiga, Pachas? Tiga. Hmm. That was some good bargaining skills by me. Okay, okay. 50, Tiga. Jello, yeah. myself. All right, found the rickshaw. Here's some goods coming from Myanmar all the way into India. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Going to India? Okay. Wow, it's cold here in the borderlands. It's um, 7 a.m. basically. So I wanted to get across the border before everyone else does because I need to find transport on the other side further into Myanmar. I keep wanting to call it Burma because obviously growing up as a Brit, we call it Burma. But um, the country seems to have changed its name to Myanmar, so I'm going to start trying to call it Myanmar, if I can remember. But in my heart, it will always be Burma. Wow, these roads. It's going to be so interesting later to contrast India to Myanmar and see what's different and what's the same. This already, this region, Manipur, this remote district of Manipur up in the far northeast of India, already doesn't feel like India. It looks different, the people are different, the food is different, the language is different, the culture is different. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how it is on the other side. Well, here we go. Big army camp here. Oh, okay. Many soldiers. Okay. Wow, because this is dangerous city. Yeah, and borderland. So you need soldiers to look after India. Okay. Well, almost a crash there. There is uh, many uh, separate Indian uh, uh, militants. Right? I see. Militants? Yeah, yeah. Easy yeah. They want separation from yeah. India. Oh, India. Right, I see. Oh, I see. And you are from uh, uh, Manipur? Manipur? Manipur. Okay. What language do you speak with uh, your Man friends? Manipuri. Manipuri? Yeah. Okay. Maite. Maite. Maite language. Yeah, yeah. Maite language. Okay. Now, Maite is also separate from Indian language. Se separate language? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. There's a church there. A lot of the people in this region are Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah Christian. This is so, Christian. this is a Christian area. Yeah. So here comes an old army truck. Okay. Right you see up here, because of the war between Britain and Japan, the World War, you see a lot of old British army trucks that were left over and Japanese trucks that were left over from the war. 
that they didn't take with them. And so you see people driving around in old Land Rovers and things from the 1940s. It's a real fascinating part of India. I recommend anyone to come here. I think we're almost at gate number one, so I might have to put my camera away in a minute. Yesterday they threatened to delete, to delete all my footage. And um, it would be terrible to have everything deleted, so I need to be a little bit circumspect, a little bit careful. Have you ever been to Miyama? You've been Miyama? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, I like it. Okay. Are they good people? Nice people in yeah. Miyama? Yeah, nice people. Yeah. Okay, good. This is gate number one. This is gate number one? Uh, okay, I'm going to put my camera away yeah, because yeah. I think it's a problem here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What are you? What Border are you? area. I've just done the first immigration post in India. This is Miyama here? So just down here is Miyama. This is Miyama, just here over the bush. Wow. And this side is India. And this side is Miyama, just here. I'm almost in Miyama. So they asked me lots of questions. The Indian military took my passport number. They um, took my photo. But they said they'd only ever seen two foreign passports before, so they had no idea how to read my passport. Anyway. Here's a more, another old truck. This is and this is Smuggling teak wood. I've been dropped off by the rickshaw waller who's taken me as far as he can and now I have to walk across the border. There's a bridge that was built by the Japanese army in 1940 when they were fighting here against the British army. It spans the river that is the border between Myama and India. I have to walk across it. Just across the river here is Myama. I need to be a little bit careful with the filming. Border areas are always sensitive. But we can have a look here. This is the river. And there is Mama across that bridge there. All right. Let's go across. Welcome to India Myama Friendship Bridge. All right, I have to switch the old camera off now. Well, I'm in Myama. I've made it across. It was very simple, formality. Walked across the bridge and that bridge all the way down there. And now here I am. Here's the first sign I've seen. Look at this writing, this Burmese writing. I'm going to the town of Tamu, which is 1.7 miles away. But look at this, who can understand this writing? Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Squiggle, big squiggle, 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 squiggle. Wow. All right. Let's walk on in then. I see a sign ahead that says, welcome to my armor. Let's go and have a look at it. It's exciting, first time here. I don't know too much about my armor, but I'm very, very excited to find out about this country. See how it's different. It says, Squiggle, 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 Tamu, warmly welcome. All right, it's a nice friendly welcome from the Myanma government. And there is Tamu, please visit again. Squiggle, squiggle. I like the squiggles. Go and check out Tamu, this town of Tamu. See what it's like there. I need to change some money, I've got Indian rupees. Let's go and get some Burmese squiggle money. I don't even know what it's called, kiat I think. Scat, kiat, crap, I don't know, something like that. Let's go and find out. A nice chilly morning in Myama. There's India in the distance, those white buildings. Bye-bye, India. Firme lenge. Me vapas. Koi batni. Well, I have a big decision to make. Do I go straight on to Squiggle, or do I go left to Squiggle, or do I go right to Squiggle? Hmm. Where does one go? Squiggle, Squiggle, Squiggle. I don't know. Let's carry on to straight Squiggle, I think. Hi, girls. Hey! 
Whoa, friendly Burmese woman. Wonder if she lives in Squiggle. Welcome to Indo Myama Friendship Road. Now I know, in Squiggle language, how to write Tamu. It's like a circle and a three-quarter circle and a little bit of a belly with two legs. Tamu. Hello. Right. Left turn, Clyde, to Squiggle Town. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. Do you speak English? <laughs> Toda, toda, a little bit. What is your name? My name is Bald. Bald. And your name? Yeah, Rohit. Rohit? Om. Om. Om, I like it. Okay, what's so funny here, guys? Okay, I'm going to Squiggles. You live in Squiggle? Yeah? You speak Squiggle? Yes. All right, okay. Money, money. Huh? Money. What's money? What is money? Money, I don't understand. What is money? <laughs> you got a tattoo? What's this? Rohit, what's... No, this. How old are you? You're like 10 years old and you've got a tattoo? Yeah. Bloody yeah. hell, dude. What the hell? You want money for tattoos? Probably going to spend on heroin. Never mind. What the fuck? He's about 10 that boy and he's got a tattoo up his arm. Welcome to my armour. Well, the kids are pretty hardcore. Already asking for cash and having tattoos. Here's some builders. So look at what these builders are up to. I like the hats on the women. Hello. What are you gonna do, mug me? You come to mug me for that money that you want? I'm going to squiggle wheel. Careful guys, there's a bloody truck coming. You nutters. Wow. See there guys. Bye. Bye, bye, bye! Don't have any more tattoos, one's enough. Bye! bye. bye. Well, wow, that was random. Alright, let's push on further into Tamu, Squiggleville. Up ahead, up ahead. Hello guys, I've just seen a market, like some kind of flower market or something. Maybe this is the center of Tamu. Maybe I've reached it. Let's have a look. I need to have a shave at some point. Maybe I can get a shave up here. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, a little food place outdoor. I don't have any Burmese money yet. Let's check out this little market up here. See what this is like. Hello. Wow, vegetable market. Fish market. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Wow. What a cool little place. That yellow chicken. Wow, 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 wow. Crikey. Didn't understand a word of that. Hello. Oh. <laughs> well, this is an interesting place. All kinds of bush meats and things. Hello, everybody. And that's it. And here, what do we have here? Something to eat, maybe. Hmm. No, I see. All right. Ah. Oh. Tamu, kind tamu, 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 tamu. Squiggle. This is tamu. But where's the centre? Like bus stand. Oh, you want to go bus stand? I want to go bus stand. Bus station. Tamu. Bus where, station. Bus, where are you going? I'm going into Myanmar. Further. Myanmar. Mandalay. 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 Yes. You go. This one. This one yes. here. Yeah. yeah. And there's bus station, yeah? yeah. Okay, thank you. thank you. And money change car? Money change. Also here, bus station somewhere. Bank, Bank there? Perfect. Thank you.
Yeah? Yeah, same, same. Same, same? Yeah. Same, same, but different. Thank you, guys. Whew. It's getting lively up ahead. I think I'm finally in the centre of Squiggleville. There seems to be a bit of a disco, a village disco up ahead. You can hear some music pumping out. Let's go and have a look. I wonder what the music's like here when he's singing Squiggle, if it's a pretty sound or not. Hello. Hello, sir. From England. 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 London. London. And just arrived and looking for bus station. Yeah. Bus stand. And you, Myanmar. Myanmar. Okay. And why the music? Yeah. Why? Myanmar music. Myanmar music. Yeah. Squiggle. Okay. And here for Buddha. Buddha. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Buddha. Money. Yeah. Money. I put. Okay. Monastery. Monastery. Yeah. Making, taking money Check. to build monastery. Yeah. Ah, okay, I see. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. Okay. Hey, nice to meet you, sir. See Good you. luck raising money. Bye bye. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hello, sir. Ah. I'm liking Myanmar so far. So far, so good. I heard some reports that in Myanmar, the people, this from people who've been, say the people are not so friendly, like in other countries, and the government's there, and they're always like, the police are always telling you, put your camera away, you can't film this, you can't film that. A little bit of a police state. <clears throat> but of course, democracy of sorts came to Myanmar not so long ago. Aung San Suu Kyi was elected as the new prime minister or president, prime minister probably. Um, <clears throat> and so maybe things have changed. Hello. Collecting money? Ah, for the temple. I can give you some Indian money. It's Indian money. I think Buddha doesn't care if it's Indian money or Burmese money. And so as I was saying, democracy has come here. And so I suppose that's led to changes and maybe now things are more relaxed. Haven't even seen a policeman yet. Even on the border, the border guard said, sure, I could film whatever I wanted once I was across into um, Burma. So yeah, interesting days ahead, I think, in Myanmar. So this is the first time I've seen a picture in the country of Aung San Suu Kyi. Prime Minister and her father over here, Aung San, who is also a freedom fighter, is the National League for Democracy, her party. You support the party, Aung San Suu Kyi? Yeah, you're a fan? Okay. Uh huh. I'm not going to pretend that I know any more, anything more about politics in Myanmar than that. Hello, guys. But I know anything more than that about Miami's politics. But interesting to see her picture. Just a few years ago, I'm sure her picture would have been banned throughout the country when she was under house arrest because the military junta. Um, she was under house arrest for many, many years, refusing to leave Burma. Hi. Hi. So uh, even in Myanmar, they have just cows wandering around, like in India. I imagine in this border region with India, there's a lot of Hindu people living here as well. <clears throat> and so there's probably some Hindu traditions being continued here. I've seen a lot of churches, I will say that. I've passed about three or four churches so far. So there's obviously a lot of Christians here as well. I see action up ahead. Buses and mini buses and all kinds of stuff. Hopefully a bank as well. Look at this picture. Wow, well, if that's what my army's girls look like. Then it's gonna be a fun trip. Let's see. This is definitely the bus station. 
Where is that bank? There's a bus here going to Yangon, the capital. Or as in England, we still call it Rangoon. We're a little bit behind the times with these things. Burma, Rangoon, Myanmar, Yangon. Mark it down there. Oh, there's lots to explore here. But first the bank. With no money, I can't do much exploring. Well, hello there. There's not much I can do. Let's find one. Where is bank? Bank, bank, bank. Bank. Ah, oh, bank. Straight? Okay. Straight? Thank you. Okay. Well, this doesn't look very promising. The bank looks firmly shut. This is KBZ Bank. There is an ATM. I wonder. I wonder. Close? Bank close? Bank is close? Oh, money change? No? No. This working? Open? ATM? Open? Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's see if my English bank card works here or not. Withdraw cash. It's going to charge me 6500 Continue. Right, how much do I want to take out? I want to take out... Oh, God, that's a good question. So what's 100000 then? Okay, I'm going for 100,000. Receipt of this transaction, definitely. I'm getting 100,000 squiggles out. There it comes. Wow, I'm 100,000 there. It's taking a long time to count it. Thank you. And thank you. Wow, let's have a look at this money. Wow, what beautiful money. Which way up does it go? I can't read squiggle. I like the look of it. 5,000 kyats, that's what it's called here. Central back of Myanmar. All right, put that in my pocket. And get the hell out of here. I've just bought some Desi Daru, some Dragon Light, 4.2%. Dragon beverages, this is, this is for the bus journey. This is your shop? Wow, nice. All these different things. You can buy washing powder and whiskey. Whiskey. And washing powder. I like the combination. Yeah. Diversification. I like it. Oh, that's a big bottle of old Scotch whiskey. Whiskey. I like it. And here's one super strong brew, Diablo. Wow. Diablo. Diablo. 12% for export only. Wow. Super strong brew. I think I'm going to be drinking. How much is Diablo? 1,300 for a giant Diablo? Yeah, okay, you. next time. Ah. Three times enough. Thank you very much for the Thank change. You. Thank you. Okay. You speak English? Little bit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, very giggly. I've got Desi Daru already. Right, we need to find a bus. We need to get to Mandalay. The road to Mandalay. As George Orwell once wrote, I think. Or was it the road to Wigan Pier? I think he wrote something about Mandalay. Right, Mandalay, Mandalay. Yangon. Yangon. Mandalay, Mandalay, Mandalay. Mandalay bus? Yes. Yes, possible? Okay. Right, there's many guy who speaks Hindi here. And he said, I can't drink my Desi Daru on the bus. It's illegal. How are they going to know? I'm already a lawbreaker in this country. <laughs> 22,000 to Mandalay. I don't know if that's good or bad. All right, guys. Bye-bye from Squiggle Town. And um, I'll see you guys later. Jay Bollicky from Myanmar.